chanting slave to dictatorship. People in Thailand marched to the Grand Palace in the capital Bangkok on Sunday. More than 10,000 people spilled onto the streets, according to Reuters estimates, although police put the number at 7,000. It's the latest in months of protests demanding curbs to the powers of King Maha Vajiralongkorn. And the protesters also called for Prime Minister Prayut Chan Osha to step down. At one point, the police fired a water cannon. The second time that it's been used since July when the protests kicked off. It was a shock to those on the front line. One of the protest leaders, Patsaravali Tanakit Vabulpon, was there. It's not right to use water cannon with protesters who have a different stand in political views. A police van was also jolted around by protesters as throngs of people marched linking arms. Some protesters also wrote letters addressed to the king and left them near the palace. Protesters have called for reversing the changes the king made shortly after taking the throne, which included taking personal control of the palace fortune and some army units. They say the monarchy has helped enable decades of military domination in Thailand. We are marching to a royal household because we want the king to know what the people want from him. The reason we're here today is because we want to communicate with him. The palace hasn't commented on the protests since they first began, but the king said a week ago that the protesters were still loved and that Thailand was a land of compromise.